I'm Jim Kircher, and this, of course, is the Soldiers' Memorial. But wait, there's more. It's actually now the Soldiers' Memorial Military Museum, and it's more than just a name change. It's under new management. For the last couple of years, a lot of work has been done outside and inside, and a lot of work has been done on the stories that are being told here. On behalf of the Missouri Historical Society, welcome to the grand reopening of St. Louis Soldiers Memorial Military Museum. The plan was always to be opened by November 11, 2018, the centennial of the end of World War I, what was once called Armistice Day, now Veterans Day. They made the deadline and held the grand opening on November 3rd, with a crowd outside on the newly redesigned outdoor plaza. Loyalty and sacrifice, and you will see each of those values reflected the Soldiers' Memorial was originally built by the city to honor those St. Louisans who died in World War I, but it would take years to get it done. President Franklin Roosevelt came here in 1936 for the groundbreaking ceremony, and at the reopening, retired Army Colonel Judith Hansis read from his remarks that day. Here will rise a fitting structure, a symbol of devoted patriotism and unselfish service. We in America do not build monuments to war. We do not build monuments to conquest. We build monuments to commemorate the spirit of sacrifice in war. When the Soldiers' Memorial opened in 1938, the world was on the verge of a second world war. And soon there would be more names added to the list of the fallen. More artifacts would be displayed in the cases but as the years went on, it was clear the building and the displays were showing their age and needed a lot of work. The Missouri Historical Society agreed to take on the task and spent $30 million over more than two years to renovate the building and the grounds and the stories that needed to be told. There are still the two main exhibit halls, but more space is being utilized upstairs and downstairs. The two world wars still play a prominent role, but the history has been expanded back to the Revolutionary War and up to service in the present day. There are now interactive features, and there are a lot more faces. You'll find stories throughout where individuals are being used as examples. Uh, sometimes they're everyday people, sometimes they're leaders, but we wanted to use the individual servicemen or women to make these um, stories real. 